Hello. How's everybody? Hello, Alyssa. How are you? How's everybody doing today? Hi, Carla. Are you home? How's everybody doing? If you could spread the love, I'd appreciate it. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. <clears throat> Are you home yet, Carla? Did you make it home yet? Are you still riding? Where are you watching from, Melissa? Marty. Must be nap time. We are making a grapevine wreath today with the sign that I made with my vinyl cutter. And I made it because I wanted it to match my ribbon. And I couldn't find anything to match the ribbon, so I made this. It started out to be that color. Then after I put the vinyl on, I distressed it with a little dark paint. Oh no. I wish I knew sign language, Carla. <laughs> you can't hear me. See you, Carla. <laughs> she can't hear me. She's traveling. So she's still in the car. And the sound won't connect. Sorry, Carla. She's traveling home from Wreath Makers Live. volume down. Okay, we're ready to go. <laughs> okay, I don't always like a dark wreath against a dark door. So you're going to see in some of my upcoming videos that I spray painted the, the grapevine. Um, I'll show you another one. <clears throat> I'm 
going to be doing this one soon too. So see, you don't always have to have it dark in color. You can paint them. Just use regular Krylon, Krylon paint. <laughs> so in some of my upcoming um, lives, you're going to see different colored grapevines. It's easy to just take a string and hang it on your clothesline outside and spray, spray paint both sides. You got to have good non-windy weather for that because if you're spraying in the wind, guess what? It's going to come back in your face. Okay, so this line is going to be mounted at the top because all my florals are going to be up here. And then we're going to do a nice big bow down here. And this is a ribbon that I found the other day at um, AC Moore. And it matches this ribbon. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm actually going to wrap this around the grapevine. I'm going to use a lot of sign language so, <laughs> so Carla can hear me. Okay, so we're going to start at the top because that's where most of my um, florals are going to be. So they're going to hide where I'm going to, actually, I'm going to start like right in here. I'm not going to do the top because I want my florals to be in there. So if I start about here and wrap, that should be good. Everybody got nice weather where they're at? I got my mini chat working, thanks to Lori, in our Zoom call yesterday. Just want that to sit for a minute. If I do not see your comment, keep asking. I'm going to try and watch them. But sometimes it's a little difficult. So I'm not seeing them all. All right, so we're going to wrap this around because I want some of this um, orange to show through and pick up the orange in my ribbons and not make this wreath look so blah. I wanted a punch of color. I wanted that blue in there. Kind of like a turquoise. And if you haven't heard, turquoise and red are the big hot colors for Christmas this year. So, and if we have time, I want to show you through a few of my uh, things I found today and what I plan on doing with them. As most of you know, I like to repurpose things. So, what do you think of the color? Do you like the color of the grapevine? So this will look nice against a dark door because it's got some color to it. Now I want this to be kind of spaced out evenly on both sides. I'm just going to pull it up a little bit. Have any of you worked with a grapevine wreath? I know Marty has. Because she usually comes to my classes. Thank you, Marty. I saw that comment. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to glue it in the back here.
it, see? So we've got a little color to it. Actually, they're not as intimidating as they look, Alyssa. They're not really that um, hard to work with. Sometimes, depends on the quality of the wreath, you may have a little trouble like positioning stuff, but it's no different than just a regular wreath or a pine wreath. And then see, I want my sign, and I did make a couple extra of these, so I will try and get them up in my on my Facebook page. But see, that's going to go at the top. Usually I put it on the side or I put it down here, but I thought, you know what? I want this to be up here and then my florals to be right around this area. Thank you. Carla can't hear me. She's riding back home from Wreath Makers Live. I can, she can see me, so that's the only way I can communicate with her. She's sending me a lot of hearts, so I didn't want her to think I didn't, I wasn't seeing her. She's one of my buddies. We're both a uh, part of Lori's group. And uh, her inspiration and her, her friendship has been invaluable to me. So I'm just going to tuck this back in here. I will. I may have to adjust it, so I don't want to cut it just yet. But I know where I want it to fall. And if you have trouble working through the... Um, the grapevine wreath, one of these needles. Oh, okay, Marty. Watch the replay later. You can always use the metal needle to feed it through. Because sometimes these vines can be very annoying where they fall. You can't always get it through. I can just about reach it. I know I have needle nose somewhere. There we go. There. I may have to drop this side a little. So where this side is hanging is where I want it to hang. So I'm going to readjust the other side. where that is now. That's a lot better. <clears throat> Except this should probably come over this side of the branch. There we go. So what time zone are y'all on? down a little bit. I couldn't place this till after the ribbon, so I had to wait. There. That's better. Now 
I got that where I want it. So what I have here, which this one I have to re-glue, it popped out. I have three pumpkins, pumpkin picks. When I did this, the ribbon had white and or cream colored um, pumpkins and the orange pumpkins in it. So I wanted at least one cream pumpkin in my design. We're going to start with this one first. See how that just pushes right in there? And these picks are nice because they have several colors and elements to them. I'll try and turn it around occasionally. Then we have the orange pumpkins. them up a little higher. Give it a little more dimension. And I'm just dry fitting them in here. I will probably go back later and re and glue it when I decide where I want everything. Well, there we have it so far. Now I want to start cascading some stuff down this way. So, I had these two picks that have a lot of the colors and some different elements in it. So I think I'm going to have those headed down and then reposition them. They're, they all have wire in them, so they should be easy to fit. And the ribbon that, the other ribbon I found that went really good with this, that has the turquoise, has some sunflower. Now these were both AC Moore and they were both 40% off this week. So I thought I want to get some um, sunflowers in here too. Let's I don't know, I may save this one to put in the middle of the bow. I also have some leaves that I took off of a bush that I had that are orange and green. I thought they would give a different dimension to it. And then I also have this greenery that has brown tips on it. So I want to get some of that in there as another element. And I don't know, when I, when I do stuff like this, I always try to balance it. And that's probably not the way most people do it, but that's just a habit of mine. <laughs> Just a matter of putting it in there. When are you going to try this, Alyssa? I think I want that like up in there. Nope. It's kind of hard doing this upside down. Let me just look at it. I need some color right here. color back here.
And then I also had these that I got when I went to AC More. They were also 40% off. I thought I'd throw a little bit of um, blue in here just to give it some pop. Just another little color. Nope. Here. Not long enough. Let me get a longer piece. There we go. I just wanted a different element in there, color wise. Okay, I'm missing everybody's comments. I apologize. There we go. Now I can see them. Hi, Cecilia. Hi, Donna. Okay. Hi, Jeannie, who says she's going to come see me and doesn't, who I thought was going to take a ladybug class and didn't. Now I can harass you. We'll use the last one up. Okay, there's what we have so far. How's that look? Now we're going to go ahead and make a nice big bow down here using all the ribbon I have. We've got this one, which you saw matches the sign. We've got, I may not add this in, or I may, I'm not sure. I may use, use it or not, I'm not sure. Might be better off throwing this in there. Okay, then this, so we got these two, and then I think we'll throw that in too. We also have this one that we could throw in. We could throw in like these, I don't want this to be the last layer, so let's do it this way. Let's do it in this order. I like those. All right, and this time, because I want to do the, I want the bow to be the, the big accent at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and use my Pro Bow, the hand. I haven't used it in a while, but a lot of times when I have several different, um, several different colors in there. I do like to use it. Okay, this is the boyfriend peg right here that we go under, right? And then I like to take a piece and run it through that I use at the end. So, and I forget, when we use this one, we start with the first color first. The, the, we go smallest to biggest. I'm always used to doing it the other way. So I'm going to use about a 12-inch loop. Okay. 
So let me see. I'm going to do three loops of the pumpkin. I a lot of times don't take my time and pinch real good. So, now, where are we at here? I go to here, then I can use this to measure my loop out because I'm going past the end of the, the board. All right, now I'm going to use this to tuck it down in the middle here and tie it off before I do the next layer. It's just a way to keep it all in place before the end. And if you pinch real good, you can get it close to this, what they call the boyfriend peg. And then I'm going to dovetail and put my wire back in place for the next layer. Are you following me so far? And then we tuck these up in here. Right now, okay. I'm gonna go with this one because I like I like to do like a a print and then a a kind of muted print after that. So and I don't have my little ribbon holder over here. pinch it, rest it against here, bring this over, and twist. And if you get it tight here, you won't have a problem when you're taking it off. And sometimes the, the wire tends to slip out of my hands, so if I use the little needle nose, I can get it closer and tuck it in better. going to dovetail, tuck it up, okay now we're going to go to the sunflower one that has, that matches this and matches that, who did I miss, welcome Mary, hi LaVon, got many chat to work so yes all right so again we're going to do about a 12 inch tail or 12 inch um, tail we're going to use our wire to tie it in place Again, I haven't used this one in a while, but because I want this to be the statement of the grapevine, I'm going big. There we go. Now, I think I'm going to go with this one next. And again, this was the whole purpose of creating the sign. I want a 
12 inch tail. Now, okay. I wanted to make sure I had the, the picture in the right direction. See, now it goes upside down. So when I twist it in place, I'm going to have to twist that around. to see if there was another color that I wanted to add to this. <laughs> I wanted this to be the last one, but let me see. I'm going to throw the leaf in there. I'm going to do the orange next and then throw the leaf in there. it up as best as you can. If somebody could, for me, since Carla can't hear me, she's in the car traveling back, Ask her how far away from home she is. So I've been writing her notes on the ribbon. Because <laughs> she can't hear me. Oops, wrong loop. There we go. All right, then we'll end with this one. Now, if I wanted to, if I wanted to put more rows on here, all I have to do is take this off and move it up. And then I have room to work with more pegs. But I like the colors that I have in there. Now we're going to do the leaves. We're going to end with that because we've got those colors up in here. So I think that'll be perfect. Susan, welcome. We asked earlier how many of you work with um, grapevines. How about our new ones popping on? Do you work with grapevines that much? And have you ever painted a grapevine wreath to work on it? I 
and see this is going to hold it in place and then when I take it off I can either use the wire that you put under there in the first place or I can use a zip tie. I think I'm going to use a zip tie because I haven't worked on this one, this bow maker in a while and I want to cinch it really good so when I fluff it, it really holds tight. We've got some painted orange that we're going to work on soon. So I didn't even really need that other tie in there. And believe it or not, my husband got me a zip tie cutter and I don't know what I did with it. Could be upstairs. Oh. Well, I still have this wire that I can use to tie it to the wreath. Yes. And now I'll use the wire. All right. Now I'll get out my fluff box that my hubby made me. Okay, where'd my other wire go? There we go. This one here, Susan, was wrapped all around. It's two and a half inch. These I started with a 12 inch um, tail and then I used the um, Probo. Find if I tie this really tight, then I can get a, a good um, firm grip on it. was the first layer was the leaf the last layer I mean still isn't tight enough come on Then our next layer was the orange. Then we've got our wheelbarrow inspiration for this whole thing. And this is not facing the direction I want, so I'm just going to spin it around so the wheelbarrow is not upside down. 
And we've got our polka dot. Now we have this one next. some of these tails go in the direction that I want. Do this to give the bow a little more dimension. If I wanted to, which I'm not sure I would, but nope, I thought that would look good in there, but I'm not liking it in there. Be crushing my bow. All right, I need a longer piece of. Um, I need a, a lighter colored um, pipe cleaner. I just blew the wire. Okay. I'm not going to fight with it. I'm just going to put a new one on here. Catch the pipe cleaner with the new one. And cut the old one. I know when I'm defeated. Let's get this cinched first. wire out of there. Put that. There we go. Now, if I couldn't figure out how to get this down through the branches, I could use that 
long needle I showed you earlier, but I can get it with the needle nose. Hi, Sue. Sister. Spread for me, will ya? Spread the love. I guess I didn't sound right. <laughs> Sue Carla can't hear me. She's on the road, but she can see me, but she can't hear me. Ask her if she's home yet, please. I'm trying to find out how close she is. Ah, uh, thanks. Thanks, Laban. I almost said Harless. <laughs> You're a sweetheart. All right. So now that we messed up our bow, we'll just go ahead and fluff it out again. have some unique finds I want to show you. Things I found today on my Wednesday runabout. Okay. I think we're good. I think this needs to just go up a little more there. How do we look? <laughs> go for you, girl. You go. Don't leave anybody any. Good job, so. Okay, so that was basically just the white wreath or grapevine that we spray painted. The sign we made to match the ribbon. And then the rest of the colors are mixed in. And then I have to spot glue some of this because I just put it in here. I don't, I like that, but I don't know. What do you think? Is that too much up there? The sunflower. I know we can't wait to see what Carla got. Hi, Susan. Thank you. Yes or no? Yes? No? Yes. What do you think? <clears throat> oval shape. I know what you meant. <laughs> no, 
no sunflower, so you're saying without it. Thank you. I have to tell Carl thank you because she can't hear me. She's riding in the car. I've been writing her notes on the back of the ribbon. Now this ribbon was purchased from Sims. This ribbon was um, AC Moore that actually matched this ribbon that matched this ribbon, which was AC Moore. Okay. I have to show you my, my finds. All right, first of all, I found this at AC Moore the other day. It was $5. And then what they did was they had all this poured in the bottom of the jar. And then they had um, a bouquet up at the top. And I thought I could add some lights in here, too. Because there's oils in this, so it would smell kind of pretty. But that was $5, and this was $5. Okay, so that was AC Moore. They also had this painted um, like a burgundy color. And they had a chicken sticker over it, painted it, and then removed the sticker to leave the outline. All right, now, everybody's doing this, and a lot of times you can't find these anywhere. I found these brown candle holders today. And look at this. And then put some leaves jetted out to the sides. Or look at that. You know what I mean? Like to have stuff coming out the sides. Can you see that? Thank you, Sue. Anybody want to guess how much I paid for these? This is coming off. I have to re-glue it. I can put new felt on the bottom, actually. 79 cents and 20% off. So 79 cents. These were a dollar at the dollar store. Or... been making pumpkins I could put those on top and put some leaves out here with a stem I don't have any leaves if what I'm talking about is like doing this have the leaves kind of coming out from the sides wouldn't that be cute Okay, so that was one item I got today. I, you could even make it farmhouse. You could put a burlap pumpkin on there and add a bunch of stuff. So that's one item I found today on my travels. I 
found this basket that somebody painted orange and then they weaved the raffia in and out. I thought that would make for a nice um, arrangement. Another one of my repurposed items, 79 cents and 20% off. I also found this guy today. Is he not adorable? He would look so cute in a wreath. I found the He was a dollar forty-nine and twenty percent off. And of course, I have my Norwick spray, so I can spray him down and kill all the bacteria in him before I even use him. I thought he was cute. course we were looking for these baskets last week because I actually put them in my wreath and look they had one today 79 cents and 20% off a bunch of corn today that was 99 cents 20 percent off then they had this pumpkin for 39 cents which again I can do a really nice arrangement in this but it's a nice ribbon 39 cents and 20 percent off To see, I get inspiration from my local repurposed store. There is so much I can do with what I find. I mean, this these are really hot right now. The candle sticks in by putting a pumpkin, and then you line this with a bunch of leaves. Um, what else did I get? Okay, here was another pumpkin, 39 cents and 20% off. See? Would that look cute on top of there? Then, oh, then I found one of these there. Brand new. Then I had a request for a cabin um, wreath. So I found a bear that I can stick in the cabin wreath. He was 49 cents, 20% off. Then $0.29 cents a piece. I can repaint this and look at this. We could put it on a sign and spell out the word joy on a sign for Christmas. 29 cents a piece and 20% off. Then they had this. It's like a metal. That would be really pretty for a Halloween arrangement, fall arrangement. And this was 49 cents, 20% off. What else? Okay, I found a 
another candlestick because I always like to do things in three. So it's higher than these. It's the same color. So I can put a bigger pumpkin. That probably won't stay, but you get the idea. Or do this big one up top here, decorate it, and then have two smaller ones on the lower levels. $0.79 cents and 20% off. Then, I hit the jackpot today. A turkey. Now, I can do a really nice fall arrangement for Thanksgiving in that. That was $1.49 and 20% off. And then this is a bump pan. I'm not going to tell you what I'm going to do with this because we will be doing something shortly with it. And it'll be for fall. And it was 99 cents, right? With 20% off. So. That was what I found today. Did I do good? And not only that, but they have a card that when you spend money, once you hit a certain amount, you get $10 back. So, oh, and this little pick was 79 cents. That's a pretty nice pick. So that was my haul for today. This little guy is going to look so cute in a wreath. I was so glad to see they had these out. And I know a lot of you are going to be using um, candy in your upcoming wreaths. They have a lot of apple picks for 29 cents. People are mixing glue with paint and making these into candied apples for their wreaths. So there's a lot of those available. Don't go out and buy new. Check out your local thrift shop or American Rescue Workers. But wouldn't that look pretty with a bunch of um, pumpkins on your table all decorated up? Just an arrangement in the middle of your table. Very reasonable. Because a lot of people are buying the glass ones from the dollar store and gluing them on top of each other. These are nice. They're already painted. And it was less than the dollar store. All right, this was my other, I, this company is American Ribbon Manufacturers in Strasburg. They had this wired ribbon called Ombre. I got that. That it was, they're 10 yards each. Look at this, they even have the metal like rings in the middle of the spool. They were $3.49 each for 10 yards. And I thought that's just a different ribbon. It's not out there where we usually look. That's called W or Woven Fall Ombre. And it is um, wired. Then I got this. I got four rolls of these. This is wired glitter dot argyle. And they were for 10 yards. 
four dollars and seventy four cents. I have a website. It's American Ribbon Manufacturers. Then I got some different colored candy corn. I have several, but I wanted a different color. And then these were leaves. Now these were nine thirty-five a roll, but I thought that was. There's not a lot of fall ribbon out there. Like, it's all the same. And then I found um, some pine cone. And the pine cone was $6.30 a roll. And I thought I was getting camo, wired ribbon. It says wired camo, but it's real thin. So, I don't know. It's something I can add in. Yeah, there's wire in there. It's just I've never seen it that thin before. I'll use it in something. Because I got a bunch of uh, deer wreaths that I have to make. So, I'll do just a little accent. Okay. Um, I may go on before next Monday. I may be showing you what I did with the pizza pans. I mean, I showed them on the last video, my last live, that I painted them. Um, but I may be doing one before Monday. So basically, that's what we got. Another, another wreath for the fall sale so if nobody has any questions did everybody leave me oh there you are okay I just am not seeing the comments again Wouldn't that be pretty? Just all these, all these pumpkins all together on a table with a bunch of leaves in here. I think that'll really look nice. So we'll use those for a centerpiece. Anybody has any questions? All right, I got my mini chat working, so I will be able to post um, updates and such, so you'll get notified. Lori, help me. It didn't disappear. I just have to push a few other buttons now. Okay. All right, guys, thanks for joining me, and don't forget to spread the love. I really appreciate you stopping by and hanging out with me. Okay? All right. You have a good day.